Namaste. My name is Kirti and on behalf of Himalayan Yoga Association, I welcome you all to this online teacher training course. I am a teacher here at Himalayan Yoga Association and I will be taking you through the concepts and details of the human body and yoga all together. Let's hope you enjoy this course. Let's start. Namaste and welcome back to the online yoga teacher training course. In today's video, we are going to discuss what is Ajap Jap kind of meditation. But before we go ahead and do that, we are going to chant the Gayatri Mantra as we always do before the beginning of every class. So, come sit straight with your spine completely erect, roll your shoulders to the back, keep your head centered in line with the spine and in the end, bring your awareness and attention by closing your, the sense of your sight to the outside world and reflecting inwards what's happening inside your body. Just be aware of your breath. Allow yourself to surrender to this impartial observance of your breath. And in the meantime, remember being relaxed means that you need not stress your lungs or your body in any way. Just observe your breath. After a few calming breaths, having felt that the awareness is with you entirely, let's bring our hands together and put them against your chest in Namaskara Siti. If you know the mantra, you can chant it with me. If you know the meaning, then keep the meaning of the mantra in your head and you will procure the maximum benefits consciously and subconsciously through this mantra. Breathe in before you do that. Om Bhur Bhuva Swaha Tatsa Vetur Varenyam Bhargo Deva Syadhi Mahi Dhyo Yonaha Prachodayat Having absorbed the vibration and effect of the mantra, let's generate some energy between our hands by rubbing our palms against each other. And you can cover your eyes. Transfer this energy to your eyes first. Massage your face. And you can transfer this energy to any other part of your body wherever you wish to. Once again, fold your palms, bow down to your fingertips and with a few blinks, open your eyes and welcome back. So, what is Ajapa Japa meditation? Ajapa Japa meditation is basically the technique where you are doing unconscious chanting. As you can see that both of these words have only uh, one single alphabet different when it comes to the spelling of these words. The addition of the A before Ajapa makes it the opposite of Japa in a way. If Japa meditation is uh, conscious chanting, then Ajapa is unconscious chanting. Ajapa is basically unconscious chanting of a certain mantra or a word as we discussed. Um, to, there are so many benefits to this mantra. So many researches have been um, promoted and conducted on this particular type of meditation and these researches they obviously signified that by doing Ajapa meditation on a regular basis it is linked with reducing stress levels, improved conscience and concentration, uh, better mood, better sleep, 
and you know you have better control of the mind when it comes to reacting or responding to things so which tells you that the ajapa japa meditation takes you to the next level of satvikness in your journey of yoga in a way um how this if you are aware of how the japa meditation works then you should be also aware of how the ajapa meditation works in japa meditation you are required to sit still completely relaxed and without moving at all in that way that you are chanting a certain mantra repeatedly consciously eventually by chanting it non stop for like 10 15 20 30 minutes whatever the mind requires you'll realize that you do not need to put any efforts to chant that mantra and at that time when you do not need to put any conscious efforts to chant the mantra and it flows effortlessly from the mind in the body that is when it becomes a japa meditation that means unconscious chanting that you effortless unconscious chanting that you can promote by constantly repeating this whole thing the mind is designed to function on a certain way to function in a certain way and it's incredible how the ancestors they studied the mind with their own tools with their own techniques and pro- provided it whatever fruit whatever fruition it needed from this whole uh, experience so to say in the name of yoga let's talk about the technique of ajapa japa meditation um ajapa japa meditation is basically a way or it is done as an activity which involves pranayam as well as meditation both together at the same time of course any meditation technique requires you to withdraw from your senses completely there are certain exceptions like trataka where you are using the eyes um any hearing meditation nada meditation where you are using the ears um there are different types of meditations of course but all the ultimate goal of these all of these techniques is that you need to withdraw from your senses eventually and focus on that imaginary so to say if you have to put it that way thought word symbol whatever you want to put it so you required this meditation requires you to have a conscious connection between both of your nostrils that means it involves of course the balancing of the ida and the pingala nadis um only when these two nadis are functioning properly they are completely working in rhythm can the sushumna flow upwards can the kundalini awaken and rise upwards towards the third eye from the root chakra let's talk about the technique now we are required to sit still at first of course let go of any attachments for those particular time that you've set for the meditation uh, nothing can disturb you yes thoughts will come in your mind but meditation is all about taking those thoughts out of your body and putting them away so that they do not bother you new thoughts will come up and eventually you will see by doing it again and again and again it gets easier for you to get rid of these thoughts of course it involves a lot of practice patience and um you know perspective so to say so that you really need to have the intention to get rid of these thoughts only then will the whole act of meditation work at the same time while you would be doing this meditation you would realize that since you're using the breath as an instrument to chant all of these things i mean um each one of the breath which involves half inhalations and half exhalations requires you to consciously and unconsciously chant this specific mantra whichever it could be it could be a mantra of your choice it could be just something as simple as om um it could be any other mantra which is in your own language which has a deeper positive connection with you on the same lines this mantra just has to be short something which can be chanted and which can be um, you know controlled in one single deep breath whether it's half inhalation or half exhalation 
here what you will require to do you request to sit still and completely bring your awareness to yourself you can start by chanting om once one om if breath if taken chanted from the stomach itself will be comparatively long of course because you are able to inhale more prana inside the body if you are breathing through the stomach that has the power to literally throw out any thoughts because you'll be consciously focused on using the breath you inhaled as fuel to chant this whole om in a way eventually what you'll realize that um you are going to chant this particular om once and then when you have your attention to your own self then you can simply start by chanting or consciously thinking about the mantra now while mantra meditation is more vocal more audible in nature you obviously play with vibrations and sounds in that whole thing which is obviously going to help you keep the attention to yourself ajapa japa meditation requires you to simply think about this mantra and not really have to chat or not not really have to speak loudly the same mantra the conscience is mostly extrovert in nature our consciousness is extrovert it is mostly focusing on the things coming from the outside it is mostly attentive to the happenings of this surrounding that you're sitting in the whole point of meditation is to bring this consciousness to an introvert level so you can think on the inside and that is one very good reason why or the difference a very good difference between mantra meditation and japa meditation that mantra meditation requires you to chant consciously and loudly while ajapa japa meditation requires you just think about the mantra again coming back to the technique divide uh, your mantra in two parts one half of the mantra can be occupied with the time you spend on a deep inhalation and the other half of the mantra can be occupied on uh, can be occupied by the deep or complete exhalation usually if you are confused about what would be the ideal word then something which does not really have the power to awaken any emotions senses or feelings in you is the ideal mantra so going by traditions we usually do this whole thing starting with soham soham is one word wherein you divide so and hum in two parts in an exhalation and inhalation in so hum the inhalation becomes the uh, vehicle for the word so and so can need to be you know practiced or thought about in a way that you are inhaling with the word so and you are exhaling with the word hum so eventually you will be required to constantly chant so hum in your mind for like 10 minutes and 15 minutes if you need to whatever time you need to spend on it to consciously work on it without bringing a break without bringing a halt or changing the breath in any way basically soham being one word is being broken down into two words so and hum and in that way the breath needs to flow freely without any pauses in between the inhalations and the exhalations you can take a pause after the exhalation but then again this is obviously a pranayama technique so you need to be conscious of this whole breath your uh, the pause that you're taking in the breath as well like i said it is a technique which involves both pranayam and meditation so on those lines consciously repeating soham while you're inhaling and exhaling in a way is something which will be very lucrative for you as a new practitioner of the ajapa japa meditation then by doing it again and again you are also you will also realize that while you are engaging the entire body the stomach the conscience and the mind all of it in this activity of so and hum and breathing inhaling and exhaling while you are chanting or repeating these mantras in your in your head constantly you are going to take this to the next level by eventually bringing the focus to hum so 
which means that while the pause was there after soham or after one breath now the pause the breakage in between this whole thing will come after your inhalations hum will still be chanted while you're exhaling and so will still be chanted while uh, you're exhaling oh i said it otherwise hum will still be chanted while you're exhaling and so will still be chanted while you're inhaling but the pause in between is going to come after the inhalation and before the exhalation that means after so and before hum so so hum will become hum so do that for about 10 minutes or so and by then you should have conquered the mind in a way that you're not really creating any thoughts you're not really putting any efforts because of course you're controlling the flow of prana and the prana the breath is responsible for the activity in the mind and by completely putting all of the awareness and attention to this one particular um word which involves breath play as well your conscience will start reacting to it by not creating any more thoughts or by not really um you know being active at all and you will have better control similar control that you have through your breath and to your mind as well eventually this hum so and so hum once you realize once you, at the same time please do not get immersed in this activity so much that you have lost your conscience entirely remember it's about taking control of the conscience not losing it to something whether it's extroverted or introverted in nature once you realize or once you have gotten accustomed or once you have got used to and you feel the meditation working we without creating any thoughts you can transfer this whole focus or concentration from the word soham and hamso to the mantra that you want again you can start with the mantra itself but eventually it would be helpful if you associate this meditation with a mantra which has a certain meaning which has more positivity and which has a deeper connection with you so that while you are constantly chanting or repeating this mantra you are obviously taking control of the senses you are also able to create a positive outlook which comes with the chanting of the mantra um that is all about a japa japa meditation of course in principle it looks like mantra meditation um but at the same time it is more silent more introverted in nature um if you haven't practiced this yet then i would go ahead and ask or suggest you to try it as soon as you can of course it's not easy because it involves focus on the work of the breath as well so taking control of the physical body and taking control of the breath is the requirements for this particular type of meditation if you do not have the physical strength to sit straight then you can always take support of the wall or if you have the ability to stay awake in a supine position then you can do that simultaneously but remember if you do fall asleep then that cannot be counted as a meditation um i hope you found this video informative i hope you are going to try this meditation i will see you again next time until then thank you and namaste